and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I last filmed and I think the biggest difference you see on me right now is my hair colour, so how can I say it? It's like a new year, new me I guess. I think the only New Year's resolution that I have this year is to film way more often and get way more videos up for you guys. I really miss doing it and it's just, you know, it's one of those things, but I am back and I came back with a bang. This makeup look, I was completely inspired by Patrick Starr's latest video. Click here if you would like to see it. It is a beautiful video with a really beautiful message and I really love the makeup that he applied and I felt really inspired to put my own twist on that. So here it is, it's full of blues and greens and silvers and it's really nice and icy and wintry, really in light of the Northern Hemisphere weather right now. So if you would like to see how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's begin. I already have my base, my brows, and my eyeshadow base down. For my foundation today, I used the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. This is because it's really good for holding my makeup for a really long time. And also with winter being super cold right now the air is really dry so it dries out my skin like crazy so i really like to use this product right here to really help my skin feel really nice and moisturized it's not a deep moisturizing product mainly because i don't like using those kind of things because my skin is very very oily very quickly so it goes from very dry to very oily in a matter of an hour or so so I like to use this so that my makeup goes on nicely but then also doesn't over moisturize my skin because of how oily it gets. So I really like using this product. Then for my foundation I actually just mixed and matched. So I used the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Because I have some breakouts here around my chin area I didn't want to use anything too luminous. So I'm using the Matte and Poreless to give me that matte finish. But then I did mix in the LA Girl Pro Coverage foundations and I used the colors natural and white so that I could mix the two together. This one is a little too dark for me so when I added these two together it ended up being maybe two or three shades too dark. So then I added this one to lighten it up and it actually applied really nicely. Usually I use my NYX sponge but as you can see this thing is like pretty much dead now. It's starting to like break and just go all weird so I need to get myself another one of these this is one of my favorite sponges and then I turn to an oldie but a goodie which is the real technique sponge if you'd like to see a video on my comparison of all my sponges I also have here one from Inglot I have one here just from the local drugstore and I also have the all good and amazing uh, beauty blender so if you'd like to see a review on all of these sponges let me know it is extremely extremely warm in this room right now because of all of the lights and I haven't filmed in such a long time so I'm sorry if I sound really out of breath I've been running around trying to set everything up and I also only have about 40 minutes left to finish my makeup before I need to run out of the house and I still need to finish my coffee okay so I will be going in with a mix of palettes so I'm so sorry if you don't have these eyeshadows and that I'm not making it easy on you for just taking one palette and working with that. But I do really feel like playing with makeup today. So I am going to go in with a mix. This is a bunch of eyeshadows I got from NYX. These are their singles. And I'm going to be using a range of some of these shades. Probably sticking around the bluey green colors here. Maybe I'll even go in with this bright green. These are my Makeup Geek shadows. I will be dipping into these. This palette looks absolutely disgusting right now. But I will be going in with a mix of these colors for transitioning and kind of cleaning up the look. Then I will use the Morphe 35C palette, which is my matte full of color palette. I really, really like this one. And then if there isn't something in any of these, I will dip into my Inglot Freedom System uh, eyeshadow palette that I created myself. I did create this one to make sure that I had a bunch of really bright colors. I have used this in a tutorial before. I will link that in the description bar below. So if you'd like to see how I created another look using these, then check that one out. So <laughs> what am I gonna do? First, I'm gonna set my uh, brow bone with some white eyeshadow and I'm just going to use Makeup Geek's White Lies. It's just a really beautiful white shade, but it's not too chalky. 
So I really like to use this to set from the crease to brow bone area to make sure that uh, blending is much easier and to prevent any creasing up in this area here. There we go. Oh, and I'm using the Morphe M524 brush. It's this really big kind of fluffy shader brush. I was going to put some gold into this look, but I think I'm going to keep it really cool toned today. I am going to keep make sure that there's a little bit of warmth, so I'm going to use the color Blame It on the Night by NYX. It's very close to my skin tone and my uh, it's a little bit lighter than my hair as well. And I'm going to use the Morphe E30 brush and I'm going to blend this into the crease and upwards, so really in that upper crease area. I don't want to have any cool tone grey colours coming up too high into my upper crease area. So I'm just going to use this as my transition for a transition shade, I guess. <laughs> then I'm going to take this colour Craving by NYX, which is this really kind of icy blue-grey. And I'm going to take the Morphe M330, which is a small tapered brush. And this one I'm going to focus more into the creep. Whoa, that's a lot of fallout. I'm going to really focus that into the crease and then blend it upwards. So again, not onto the crease. But then this will come lower than that Blame It on the Night shade. And this will help some of those blue colors really blend seamlessly with the crease. Uh, this one seems to be a little bit more defined. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I get the definition that I want. And I am going to put a lot of the stronger colors on the inner corners and outer corners of the eye and then keep the center very light. So I think I will put this color a little bit more focused in the center of the crease right here so that there it is the most defined and then it will blend out because the other colors will define the crease more anyway. And if you feel you might have not blended enough, just go back in with the same brush that you had before for the warmer color and just buff the two together. Now for some of the fun colors. I will be using the Morphe M124 brush quite a lot today. This is a really nice flat shader brush. I'm going to start with the green and I think I'm going to keep the inner corner much much brighter green than dark. So I am going to take this color right here called Venom. Actually, you know what? I am going to apply a white base and I'm just going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And this will just really make sure that those colors are as opaque and as oh bright, <laughs> oh bright, <laughs> as bright as possible. Take that Venom color and I'm gonna use the Morphe brush and I'm gonna pack this on these Shadows, by the way, are unbelievably pigmented and I love this green color. So now we're just going to pack it in on the inner corner and you can see how crazy pigmented the shadow is. I want to start blurring it out when it comes to the center of the crease. So I'll flip the brush over and then I'll just kind of pat it out. And now for the outer corner, deeper blue, and I just swatched the Pegasus shade, which looks like this. That's really, really bright sky blue. And then I swatched the Dare color, which looks like this. You can see they actually look really similar, but the Makeup Geek one is a little bit more uh, foiled than this one. This one is just a very pigmented. Actually, you know what? I am going to take this color from the Morphe palette. It's this really bright royal blue color. Take that on a MAC 217 brush. This one is not as pointed as it should be <laughs> because again of how much I've washed it, but that's exactly kind of the effect that I want to go for right now. So just pick some up on the brush, tap off any excess, and start blurring this on the outer corner. And I'm not gonna let the two meet. If they do, it's not too much of a problem, but I don't want the actual uh, strongest color payoff to meet each other. I want them to kind of blur so that in the center I can add a different color. And now you can see why we added that really gray shade in the crease, because it's really helping this blue to blend in. And now I'm just going to take the Morphe E17 with a little bit of the same color, not too much. And then I'm going to start lifting the color up towards the brow bone for a little bit of a winged effect. Picking up the same brush as before, the Morphe E330. I'm just going to blend the top edges and help drag this blue out a little. So what I do notice with this color is that it's not a 
as royal blue as it is in the pan. So I think I am gonna go in with one of the other more pigmented shadows. Ooh, this one's pretty. I'm going to take the color Blue Jeans from NYX. It looks like this. And this is a very beautiful foil blue color. And I'm gonna add that onto that other blue using the E17. And I know this is shimmery and it's not usually what you're supposed to do with outer corner colors, but right now I don't really care. I'm going to take this navy blue color right here and I'm going to take it on a Morphe M521, which is a longer, well, it's like a longer version of the MAC 217. And then I'm gonna blend this right on the outer edge and then just carry it over a little. I, um, I like that. I need to adjust <laughs> but let's go ahead and do the other side and then we'll see how far we come <laughs> i'm trying to mimic the eye shapes <laughs> there is really like nothing else on this brush all the color is off so now i'm just using little windshield wiper motions to blend out this navy blue color i am going to take this brush again that we use for that warmer brown and I'm going to blend this over the top of that navy blue again. There's no extra product on this brush. So now I'm going to just go right into the center of the lid. I'm just going to leave the blues for now. I'm going to use the Morphe 124 brush and this silver shade right here, which looks like this. So it's really pigmented. And maybe I'll blend over the top of it a lighter blue metallic. But for now, let's just try the, the silver. Oh wow, the silver is really a metallic-y, very pigmented. It's actually uh, covering that blue and the green, which I don't really want to do. I kind of just want to make them almost become silver. Go back in with the green and then just kind of go back and forth until you get the desired effect. I think I am going to add some of that Pegasus over the top to kind of neutralize that silver a little. And well, that's actually quite nice. Now that it's more part of the color story. And now for the other eye. Okay, and now to really clean it all up, I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the M14, M149. And I'm going to take that navy blue color and I'm going to really cut that crease because I kind of started to feel the colors were doing that anyway but not quite as clean as i wanted okay and now i notice i am seriously running out of time so i'm going to apply some false lashes first i'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and this is the nyx xxl lush lash mascara i like the formula of this mascara but i don't like the applicator it is way too thick and wide and my lid kind of droops inwards towards my lashes so when I apply it it's much easier for me to end up getting mascara on my actual eyelid which I really don't want right now because I've spent so long doing this makeup these red cherry lashes I have no idea what these are called so I'm so sorry about that I actually keep all of my lashes in this house of lashes lash storybook so it's really useful keeping them all there, but then I have no idea which ones are which and I have multiple from the same brand. And I'm not going to be wearing any eyeliner, so I do want to make sure that my lashes are as close to my natural lashes as possible. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to take that same navy blue shade and blend it right underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a green, and this is the color Kush by NYX. I'm gonna blend this on the inner third. Just take that same uh, warmer color that we used in the crease on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna blend this underneath so it looks a little neater. A jumbo pencil in milk to line my waterline. And the same mascara on my lower lashes. Yay, and now for the lips. Not this one. I think I'll go in with this one. This is the NYX Lingerie in the color Bedtime Flirt. And now to set everything in place, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. There is a oil control one. 
I really, really don't like that one. That one makes my face go picky and horrible. This one is amazing. And that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for joining me again after such a long period of no videos being released. Happy New Year to all of you again and I wish you all a very safe and happy year ahead. If you would like to see more videos coming your way from me, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section below for any videos that you would like to see over the coming year. Stay happy and safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.